Anyway, I there. As you can tell from the cash flow hat, anyway, I do listen to Grant Cardone. I do follow some of his advice and all that stuff. My issue is like, there's a 10x12 conference coming up next month. I wanted to go to it. And I keep, I inquired and I keep getting phone calls about the sellers that are trying to sell me stuff. And I tell them right now, the uh, ticket price is not a good um, allocation to my fund right now because it's following the actual rules laid out in the web creation from the um, book that he wrote. And I, everybody wants to sell you something, y'all. Everybody wants to sell you something. But if you actually follow the advice that they set out for you, and I'll get your funds and don't touch money unless it's what all right. The the seminar would be in the 36th range, so it does follow the advice that they got into it. But my issue is it was 9.05 last night when I got the phone Well, I think I got a phone call like 8.59, and I think we got off the call like 9.15. But the issue is, like I told them, like, honestly, the networking environment would be awesome. I'd love to be in the room with 500 or whatever, however many people are going to be in there for um, business owners, investors that are willing to pay the ticket price, which would be awesome. The issue is the type of work I do, sales people are the worst people at what I do. Because everyone's out there going after that sale. They want to sell whatever they're selling. Got it. So I'm like, whatever, man. And then I, I, I went there explain more to them. I, Bro, you can make a crap load of money selling stuff, and I understand the customer or the client does not benefit from what you're selling them until they buy. Got it. The issue is, yeah, you can make a lot of money by selling. That's how Grant Cardone got into where he is. He sold a crap load of stuff, made a crap load of money. That's not where he gained his freedom from. He gained his freedom from creating passive residual cash flow by investing in real estate. I said, he only spends his passive income. Just like I told the salesman, I'm like, bro, you might be making big bucks. That's awesome. Hopefully, you're smart enough to invest that in card on the capital and get the month or monthly or quarterly check, depending on if you're accredited or non accredited. And that way, you can gain freedom. But if you're calling people at 9 o'clock at night, buddy, you don't own your life. You have no freedom. You're pursuing that sale. It's like, I just dropped off a McDonald's delivery. Literally, the McDonald's bus and I have my way from the Toyota dealership. Dropped off to a sales rep at the Toyota dealership. And that's the issue with most salespeople. They're pinching pennies and buying stuff they don't need because they're not taking care of themselves because they're trying to... They got a scarcity mentality because they don't sell, they don't have money. You need cash flow that comes in whether you're working or not. That's why I invest in cash flow producing assets. That's why the majority of the money I make for my gig work gets set aside to invest in cash flow producing assets. It gets set aside in a high yield savings account. So it's earning interest on there and creating cash flow that way. And then when I got enough, I'll make the big plays or the big investments because that's just smart. But building my home base referral marketing business, every time I sponsor someone new or share what I'm personally benefiting from, I'm playing the money tree. Every time I plant a money tree, I go to work to make sure that money tree grows and um, sprouts and it creates more money trees. So it's the best opportunity for the average person to start benefiting from residual passive cash flow is building a whole major pro marketing business. Unless you have a lot of capital to go ahead and invest in the cash flow producing assets because it takes a lot of capital to see anything significant in terms of each return. Like I've been investing since probably like 21, 22, or 23. Yeah, that's what I was. So I'm probably investing a little over 10 years now. I just don't have anything significant in terms of reach return from my investments. And I've listened to different advices. I've sold stuff that wasn't like Dave Ramsey, baby says, sell stuff, sign your retirement account, and pay off your debt. Which makes sense because every financial guru we're talking about, if you got high interest credit card debt or high interest debt at all, get the hell out of it. That's why I take a little page from all the different gurus. My high interest credit card debts, so I got a couple left and I have them paid off in the next couple months. All oh, my unsecured debt or my secured debt, my car payment, my Harley, all that stuff, they have low APR, so I can make more money investing. So I'll invest that money instead of paying off the debt. And that's it's smart. So come up with a plan for y'all to get more out of life and you create your passive residual cash flow. Subscribe to my channel, like these videos, 
Uh, like these videos, send me those gifts, those hearts, super thanks, all that good stuff. Comment and let me know how you're creating your residual passive cash flow. Or are you simply trying to go out there and earn a crap load of money? Spending all your time selling or trading time for money at a job. Y'all be great and have a wonderful day. I'm waiting for this order from Walmart. A little $20 delivery to go four miles down the street. I'm gonna stop my wall and get some more coffee on the delivery. So, y'all be great.